Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a small test, which is a self loop test. Energy from the dynamo is going to the rectifier, going to the capacitor. I have a meter on there now. From the capacitor going to here, these wires, and going back to the source. We're running the system now on 10 volts DC and uh, let's say yeah 900 950 milliamps so it is connected as a self loop and what i'm gonna do now is turn down the variac to zero volts and see what happens zero switching it off no input and as you can see the voltage in the capacitor is also decreasing system is slowing down yeah, two reasons for this one is that the dynamo at this point is not producing as enough energy as the drive side is using and the second reason as always is the universal one that the dynamo being loaded by the cap by the drive side um, put a lot of stress on the drive side and that's about it let me put it back on Switching everything back on and starting it up again. Gonna do it one more time. It's now consuming around 2 amps because it is starting up. It is for me pretty easily to almost double the output of this dynamo. That's not a problem. Uh, just a bit different design. But the problem is the slowing down of the dry side. It doesn't have to speed up, but... Uh, or if it slowed down, not too much. Maybe 10, 20, 30 RPM. But not 100, 200 or 300. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, once more running it on almost 11 volts, as you can see over here the cap also, shutting everything down, system slowing down, and also the energy in the cap is being drained by the drive side. Okie dokie, uh, just a small update, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Now I'm doing a other test, which is um, with the um, 10 millimeter magnets. I have now um, a second layer in there of 5 millimeter. Two times 5 millimeter is 10. As you can see, the system is now running at 12 volts at two and a half amps. Wow, that's a lot of amp draw. I will show you in a moment. I'm going to do a uh, low test, just a quick low test because it will slow down the system very fast and uh, the meter, the amp meter will go off the chart. But there is a lot of power in there, that is for sure. This is a 21 watt automotive light bulb and here we goes. Here's a meter and system almost died out don't want to ruin my uh, MOSFET in there okay now I'm gonna stop it completely to show you the magnets as you can see over here I have another set of magnets on the lower ones so it's now 10 millimeter uh, it is producing more, but consuming also a lot more. I prefer to have one layer only. Anyway, just a small update. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.